Namashivaya children. In this video, we will learn methods and some functions that is there in the list. We already have done two functions if you remember length and range and there are many more that we will be doing. The data type list has several built in methods that are useful in programming. In programming basically we use methods and functions. We call the methods and functions which does certain work like for example length function you know and function we always write the syntax and after that we give the two brackets within those first bracket we pass the parameters sometimes it might be a blank uh, one bracket where there is no parameters like over here you can see and sometimes we pass parameters that you can see over here list string one over here that I'm showing so you can pass parameters into the brackets this is why functions or methods have brackets okay so length you can see the first method len which returns the length of the list passed as the argument argument or parameters that I was saying passed in, in the argument means in the bracket it's passed for example you can see list 1 over here list is 10 20 30 40 50 length in bracket list 1 it will return the length of the list 1 that is the number of element in list 1 5 so it is the output will be 5 so if to write the syntax length in bracket list 1 the length it will return as 5 next method is list it creates an empty list if no argument is passed so list 1 equals to list bracket if you write this syntax and you write list 1 so this means it over here you have not mentioned what the contents are that is why it is giving you the output with a blank uh, third bracket which means list one is created but it has got no elements inside it because no elements you have written over here so list a simple list with a blank uh, blank uh, bracket makes it helps you to create a empty list this syntax is used to create a empty list it also creates a list if a sequence is passed as argument over here over in the first example there was no argument that is why empty list was created over here you can see string 1 equals to a e i o u list 1 equals to list string 1 so string 1 is argument over here the content of string 1 will be passed on as the content of list so now list 1 contains the string 1 values a e i o u over here there was nothing mentioned in list so it created a blank em blank list but in the second example list in the bracket you are passing the argument that it contains the content of string 1 variable string 1 contains a e i o u hence a e i o u content enter into the string into the list 1 only difference you see in string 1 since it was a string variable it contained a e i o u on within the within one bracket but when the same content of string 1 was passed was became the list then a e i o u individually became one one element of the list one this you have to see carefully as you all will go through the syntax and all the examples you will clearly understand which syntax gives you which output next method is append method in append means adding okay so appends a single element passed as an argument at the end of the list appends means whatever element you are passing on as the argument it will just add on to the list at the end a list can also be appended as an element to an existing list appends i told you is adding so you can add an element if you pass in the bracket or you can also add a list if you want to pass in the bracket but it will be added after the list already created if you understand the example you will clearly understand a list can also be appended now see the example list 1 10 20 30 list 1 dot append 50 that means we want to append the element 50 in list 1 so now the list one's variable in now new list one is 10 20 30 40 50 50 is appended at the end of the list one new list one is this again say list one equals to 10 20 30 40 50 list one dot append 50 60 this is another new list so you want to append 50 60 this is another list why it is a list because you can see the brackets over here so if this bracket was not there then it would have have it wouldn't have been a list 
so 50 and 60 this particular list you want to add to list 1 so now the list 1 new list 1 is 10 20 30 40 comma 50 60 this is a list within list you can see this is a list within list because you added you appended this list in with list 1 that is why this third bracket is there 50 60 is not taken as individual element but it is a list within list that is nested list if you remember we did it earlier in the earlier videos I explained you nested list so this is what is append means adding one value or one list also can be added at the end of the list to which you are appending and how do you write it list one dot append 50 the name is list one that is why you are writing list one if the name was only list or only l1 then it would have been written l1 dot append or list dot append over here the list name is list one that is why list one dot append is given for this example next see the extend uh, method this is very much similar to append this also extend the list that you are calling after the list that is calling but the only difference you will see in the example that is list 1 10 20 30 list 2 is 40 50 this is also a list and the next in the uh, syntax list 1 dot extend list 2 that means list 1 after list 1 list 2 will be added how it is added you see list 1 the new list 1 is 10 20 30 after that 40 and 50 is added but the difference with append and extend is 40 50 is added over here as elements but not as list this is called extend whereas over here when you use the, uh, the append one 50 and 60 was added as a list so this is the thing in extend what happens it appends each element of the list passed each element of the list passed as argument at the end of the given list so each element not the entire list so this is the difference between extend and append in append it is adding as a list if you are writing append 50 60 as a list list form only it will be added but in the extend though for list 2 is a list but you, when you are writing list 1 dot extend list 2 it is not writing 40 and 15 like a list but 40 and 50 becomes an element that is included in list 1 so in today's video you have learned append extend length and list methods so this methods you will write down in your copies write down the description that i have highlighted that also you can write down but the most important thing is please write down the example if you do not write down the example in the copies the methods won't won't be clear to you so write down the method like in the table format you can see write the method give the description in one line or two in one line only it is written i have also highlighted the main point and write the example in order to have a clear understanding of what the method is and what is the syntax the syntax are very very important this is the syntax so this is how all the syntax are given for the example and what syntax what output is giving you have to clearly understand in the next video we will continue with other functions of the list namashivaya